Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. Um, so today we're going to have a little bit different of a video. Um, I know that a lot of people won't watch this just because whenever you see that Clash isn't in the title, you don't watch it. But for the people that are watching this, um, True Malt fans, people like that, um, this video is a little bit more serious. It's a lot more serious than other videos that I've done recently or in the past. <clears throat> so, um, many of you may know that my channel is now almost two and a half years old, okay? And it started on Clash of Clans. My first video was a Clash of Clans video, um, May 23rd, 2013. I think it was May 23rd, maybe May 24th, something like that. Um, I posted my first Clash of Clans video, okay? At that point, the only other Clash YouTubers that I knew of were like Daddy, Chief Pat, Godson, uh, Dub War, Matt and Divinic, Flammy, um... I can't really think of anyone. Simon Tay was around then. Uh, so it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. And I honestly can't begin to tell you how much I loved the Clash of Clans community. We had one of the best communities on YouTube without a doubt. Like there was, there's no doubt that it was one of the best communities because the game was new. Everybody was still learning it. There wasn't that much competition. There weren't clan wars. There wasn't all this extra stuff. Um, and so everyone was pretty much playing the game for the same reasons. They were playing the game for the same reasons. Some people were trophy pushing, some people were farming. Those were really the only two options, okay? And now, yes, those are still pretty much the same options, but there are clans and people that solely focus on warring, okay? Which is one of the big things that I want to want to talk about in this video. Um, so I loved the Clash of Clans community back then, guys. It was amazing. You can ask anyone that was around there. I think White was around then, too. Uh, he was definitely around uh, towards the beginning of my YouTube career, if you will. Um, <clears throat> you can ask those people. J-Rod, too. J-Rod was around. Um, you can ask them, and this community, there was no drama. There was none of that. Everybody just loved playing the same game, and they respected everyone for playing the same game. It didn't matter what you were doing. White helped me get um, up to masters or champs, whatever, up to champs, um, and uh, it was awesome because he was a smaller YouTuber. He's a lot bigger than me now, but he was a lot smaller than me at that point, and it was cool because me, as a bigger YouTuber at that point, reached out to a smaller YouTuber, and he helped me uh, get up there. So that was really cool. Relationships were cool. Uh, I, I I can't say it enough. I genuinely loved the community at that point. But as of lately, um, probably in the last, I don't know, five months or so, uh, it's it's really started to, to upset me. Because I've been around for so long in the class community, since I've been here from the beginning of it, pretty much the beginning of it, um, seeing what it's turned into today, it, it really hits my heart. Um, because it's kind of like my baby. Like, you know, I, I was here with it as it grew up. I was playing Clash from the very beginning. I was here with the YouTube community as it grew up. And now seeing what it's turned into in some areas, uh, it's just real. it's really upsetting. That's all that I can say um, to really define it. It, it genuinely makes me sad. Now, <clears throat> I know that being a YouTuber who uh, is in a light of sorts to people, who has a big audience, who has um, hundreds of thousands of views a day, you know, that's a lot of people watching my videos. So I know that I'm going to get negative feedback. That comes with the job. That comes with the, with the, <laughs> with just having a big YouTube channel. I know that. I'm not complaining about that. I'm genuinely just re just telling you guys from my heart that I'm disappointed in um, where the community has gone. So many of you may know this, many of you may not, but in the last probably uh, month or two, uh, I have been the focus of a lot of just drama that I think is entirely unwarranted. I don't really understand it. I don't know where it came from. I didn't direct it at anyone. I, I don't think I've ever, I've definitely never attacked anybody when it comes to calling anyone out or anything like that until this point with um, the warring community. Oh my gosh, you guys are part of the elite three-star warring community. Cool title. Yeah, no, not really. Um, so that community in itself, first of all, um, zero respect for you guys. Zero respect. 
there's probably three people within the elite three-star warring community that reached out to me and were like, hey man, I'm I'm sorry for all this flack that you're getting. Like, you're not even a warrior. Like, you have I have over a thousand videos on this channel, and maybe one percent of them is on wars. Okay, so anybody who genuinely thinks that I am a master at warring, yeah, not really. Not really, not even close. So people who took me saying the fact that two stars win wars seriously, you might want to check yourself because you're clearly mistaken and I have no uh, stake in the war community whatsoever. So you can pick on me all you want to. Please, go ahead. All that's going to happen, legitimately, your comments are going to be blocked so you can never comment again, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Your Twitters are going to be blocked. Totally fine with that. I've blocked over 400 people in the last month. Hilarious to me because, um, first of all, a lot of you guys, and again, this is not saying that I'm somebody special because I'm not. Um, I'm very, very grateful and blessed to be where I am. Um, I don't think that I've done anything special. I don't think that I'm better than anyone else at any rate. I honestly think that I'm just blessed to be where I am. So um, for those of you who are smaller YouTubers trying to come up in this community, especially the, one there's that, especially the ones that are in the warring community, you burnt a bridge with a quote unquote, if you will, big Clash of Clans YouTuber. And I'm not saying that because again, I'm trying to be all special, but if you compare it based off of subscribers, I would say that I'm one of the bigger Clash of Clans YouTubers. That's just based off of stats. Um, so for those of you smaller guys who did that, you burnt a bridge with somebody who I think is a nice person. I love collaborating with people. I have a lot of fun collaborating with people, talking with them, all this kind of stuff. Um, you guys burnt a bridge unnecessarily, in my opinion. Um, I've never really understand bullying. I was bullied when I was in high school, uh, at least the beginning, like freshman and sophomore year of high school. After that, it was fine. Um, I've never been the bullier. I've never bullied anybody. Um, I don't really understand it. It's honestly kind of a, a, a sad thing to me. I don't understand why being mean makes you happy or why, um, I don't know, insulting someone else makes you feel better about yourself. I don't really understand it. Uh, I, maybe my mind just doesn't work that way. So if you're like that, I guess I'm sorry. Um, I'm happy that I'm not. Um, so again, guys, all that I, I know this is kind of just rambling. I'm just talking from the heart. Of, this isn't scripted or anything like that. I'm just generally having a conversation with um, the people that watch my videos. So all I wanted to get out of this, guys, was um, to show you all where my heart is at and just let you know that I'm sad for a lot of areas of this community. It's still an awesome YouTube community. Clash of Clans is going to be on YouTube for a long time. I'm so happy that I get to play this game. I'm playing other games now because I like playing other games. I'm going to keep playing them. But again, I just wanted to let y'all know from my heart that I'm just sad for those people that are making this a negative community. People that are attacking other people in the community. Um, we're all playing the same game. We all like the same game. Some of us play it very technically. Some of us um, put a lot of hours into learning exactly what a troop is going to do when you put it down. Some of us, like myself, just use Barch almost the whole time, and we like to find collector raids. That's what makes me happy. That's why I like Clash of Clans. I like warring sometimes. I'll use Go Wipe, not one of your glorious three-star strategies like what, shattered whatever or surgical hogs? Okay, cool. I'll use Go Wipe because I was around in the beginning when that was the cool thing and I've just, I just find joy playing with that. So I'm going to continue playing with that. Makes me happy. If you don't want to watch the video, you legitimately don't have to. You legitimately don't have to watch the video. Um, but I want to thank the people, A, that have been here since the beginning, that have been subscribe to my channel and watch my videos for years, like two years. Um, for those people, thank you. Legitimately, thank you. I can't say it any other way than just thank you. Like it means a lot to me. Your, your support, your support, the person that's looking at me right now, 
is what has made me be able to do what I do on a daily basis. So thank you. I wish that I could meet you and hug you and thank you for your support. Um, for those new subscribers that genuinely like my videos just because you think I'm energetic, those are the kind of messages that I get a lot. They're like, Mo, you just have a good attitude. You're happy. It makes me happy. I like watching your videos. Awesome. For those people, thank you for that encouragement. It means a lot to me. It genuinely means a lot to me. And guys, I know putting myself out there and being real like this is going to bring trolls out. Okay, they're going to comment down below, guys. Let them do what they want to. Let them do what they want to. Uh, eventually, hopefully, the people that are negative like that will find some kind of positivity in their life. And instead of exerting their energy at beating someone down or being negative towards them or belittling someone to make themselves feel bigger, um, I just hope that eventually their life kind of turns around and that isn't the route that they go anymore. But if it is, that's their choice. So if you guys see trolls down below, let them do what they're going to do. They're going to do it. I'm just going to ignore them. Um, this is kind of just a ramble session. No clash content. None of that kind of stuff. Just talking to the people that support me. Um, for the negative people, for the people that have directly attacked me, um, made fun of me, okay, uh, done anything to try and make me look bad, for those people that are watching, because I know you're watching as well, and you're laughing right now. You're on Twitter, you're texting your friends, you're doing whatever, you're tweeting, oh my gosh, hashtag molt math, oh my gosh, hashtag two stars win wars, hashtag not really, hashtag I'm part of the three star community, hashtag I have no life, whatever. <laughs> for those people. I apologize that I can't be exactly what you want me to be, okay? Nobody can. I can't three-star base it with surgical hogs because I've never used it before, and I don't really want to. Could it be fun? Yes. Is anything broken in my relationship with the class right now? No. So I'm not going to try and fix it. I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. So if you want, continue to be negative. If you're negative on Twitter towards me, you will be blocked. I will never see your tweets. If someone else, this is one of the funniest things. I, know, I just went to a laughing mode. Here's something that's so funny to me. People, <laughs> since I've blocked so many people, that their friends will screenshot my tweets and tweet it at the person that was blocked so that they can still t like read my tweets. Desperate. So desperate and hilarious to me. Have fun doing that. You, If you want to find your ways to read my tweets, Okay, if I see that, I'm going to block you as well. Just so that eventually one person is going to be screenshotting it and sending it to everyone. Full-time job right there, screenshotting Molt's tweets, sending it to people so that they can laugh and feel better about themselves. Okay, how long are we on? We're on freaking 13 minutes right now. Rant of all rants. Um, for you people, the negative people, just try and be positive. See if you feel better. I promise you, you'll feel better about yourself. I promise you'll feel better about yourself. Good equals good in your life. Bad equals bad. Being mean is a bad thing. Being nice is a good thing. Why would you want bad things in your life? I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense. Um, I've said the same thing probably a hundred times at this point. For those of you that are still here, I love you. I love you very much. You've given me a lot in life, and I appreciate you, and you mean the world to me. It's going to be it for this video, guys. Just ranting and talking. I love you very much. And I'll see you on the next episode, all right? As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on and you play the game however the heck you want to, all right? See you.